Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and we have some interesting news on the Halo front today. This comes from somebody I think is a trusted source on Twitter, Serasia, who has been right or has had, you know, inside information since I feel like Infinite came out. But if you want to stay up to date with all things Halo, Xbox, whatever it is, I could be your third favorite Halo YouTuber when it comes to that. All you have to do is just hit that subscribe button. 90 some percent of you who watch these videos aren't subscribed. If you subscribe, we'd be at like 100K. So I would greatly appreciate it. It's just a click of a button and it means the world to me. Anyways, Sereza tweeted 343 has registered two different title IDs on Xbox Live, which means that they might be working on releasing something standalone soon. Might be something made for mobile, would line up with Xbox's plans. He also clarifies that the titles for those IDs are empty. Now, Halo isn't technically new to the mobile gaming side of things. Halo Spartan Assault and Halo Spartan Strike were both available on iOS and Windows Phone and received decent reviews. I am pretty sure you can no longer play those games. And while I think probably the majority of people will be like "Ugh, not a, a halo mobile game oh, i want a, a real console pc platform game i get that i completely get that but with how mobile gaming is so successful and huge and you know available to people i could see why microsoft or even 343 would want to explore this avenue a little bit more what do i think it's gonna be i have no idea it could be like you know what if it was a a card game like Marvel Snap. Maybe it's a successor to those Spartan Strike and Assault games. What if it's a port of the Master Chief Collection somehow? Now, I don't think that this is going to pull a ton of resources away from 343, in my opinion. It would be sick if it was like a Halo Wars mobile game. Sereja also quote tweeted that and said, pure speculation, Xbox might have a deal with Apple to port stuff to the iPhone 15 like Death Stranding and Resident Evil Village. Now, all this to say, are we going to see anything at the Xbox Game Showcase for these games? I don't know. I don't know what soon means. Like, within a year, are, are they ready to show stuff off? I really do not know. I truly thought that we would see the next Halo game in 2025, maybe 2026. I didn't know that there were mobile games in the works. That was more towards the certain affinity game. And this is, I don't know if this is a hot take, but I do think that tapping into the mobile game market would probably help Halo more than hurt, especially if it's good, you know, like if it's a good game. Only problem is, is there's a lot of predatory mobile games out there, and that's just something I am very scared of. But hear me out, if they're making all their money from mobile gaming, you know, maybe they don't use as many predatory, you know, shop stuff in the next main Halo game. Fingers crossed. Maybe that's how they justify that. I have no idea. But what I would really like to do is hear from you guys in the comments down below. I mean, this seems like a pretty credible thing. Let me know what you think these games could be. Are you excited for it? Pretty much everybody owns a phone, so I, I feel like everybody should probably have an opinion on it. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you all around the ring. Peace!